2002 SVT Focus. Um, right now we have the cam plate in both cams. It's aligned. And I got the new belt on and I'm about to put the timing pin in. So we'll put the timing pin in. Okay, now turn the crank. <clears throat> okay, hang on, stop. I'm gonna remove the cam plate. Try and spin the crank until you hit up against the pin. It's already on the pin. It's on the pin? Okay. Um, now reverse it and go back just a little bit. Okay, this cam moves back a little bit. This one didn't really move. <clears throat> now go the other way. Go go clockwise again. You're up against the pin? Yeah. Okay, crank just hit up against the pin. We're gonna try and put the uh, cam plate back on. And see, this is what happens. Now, now it won't line up. It goes into the exhaust cam, but it barely won't go into the intake cam by like, I don't know, a tiny, tiny amount. And, um, see if I, if I just turn the cam, get a wrench on it. So, it needs to go that way a tiny bit. Come here and hold hold the camera. <clears throat> hold it right there. So I'm gonna turn the wrench to turn the cam a tiny bit. See, I just bumped it, and now it fits into place. So my question is, is the timing off a tiny bit or is that okay? <clears throat> okay, we'll pull it off again. Um, try and turn the crank again up and, uh, when you hit the pin. It's on it. You're on the pin? Yeah. Okay. So now we'll try and put the plate on again and it goes into both. And it's up against the pin, okay. <clears throat> now, let's take the pin out. Almost got it out. Okay, got the pin out. <clears throat> Go ahead and uh, do one revolution. Clockwise. <clears throat> okay, stop. You, you went a little bit more than one full revolution, but that's okay. Okay, so after one revolution, it won't line up because the slots are offset and they only go on one way, so that means we're 180 degrees off, so that's fine. It shouldn't line up right now, but after one more revolution, it should line up. Okay, so go ahead and do one more revolution. Go really slow. Slow. Okay, stop right there. I'm gonna put the pin in before he gets to uh, a complete full revolution so that the crank has the opportunity to hit the pin and not go past where it hits the pin. Okay. And 
got the pin in, just screwing it in. This is pretty difficult, by the way. Okay, so I've got the pin screwed all the way in, <clears throat> and um, go go ahead and uh, crank the motor over until you feel it hit the pin. Okay, it hit the pin. I don't know if you could hear it, but it definitely hit the pin. So we'll slide our cam thing in place. And again, the intake cam goes in perfect and the exhaust cam is like a hair off. It's just barely a hair off. You mixed them up. Or yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is um this is the exhaust cam. The exhaust cam goes in fine and the in intake cam barely is a hair off. Okay. <clears throat> now go ahead and try and turn it up against the pin again. It's on it. Okay. We will try one more thing. Can you um, like back off of it a little bit? Like go the other way just like for a second because it's like really hard to remove the pin. Okay. Thank you. Now uh, make sure the ratchet is clicked to go tightening again. Yeah, when you're when the crank is right on it, like it won't let me unscrew the pin. <clears throat> so, um, I guess my concern is, you know, is is that okay that it's that tiny tiny bit off, and that I have to actually turn the cam just a tad to get the plate to go in, or do I need to loosen uh, the cam gear bolt? here, which I don't have the uh, the external torques for, because here's the, the blanking plug, this was on here, I took that off, oil came out, and then there's an external torques, an E18 that I don't have the, I don't have that socket, so I can't even take that off, but <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys are taking it off, and so I'm wondering, you know, if I loosen it, and then I move the cam a little bit to where the plate slides in, and then tighten it back up again, is that what I'm supposed to do? Or is it okay right now? Um, so let's try one more time. Go ahead and do two revolutions. Two? Yeah. Right, we're on one. We're on one. Okay, we're 180 degrees off, so of course it's not going to fit. <clears throat> Stop before you get to two. Go a little more. You you can go more. More? Uh, yeah, go more. That's pretty close. It's pretty close? Are you looking at the timing marks? Yeah. Okay. Okay, got the pin. In. Okay. All right, pin is in again. <clears throat> now, what's really interesting is that if we go really slow, I can actually slide the plate in to both cams, but then I'm not sure if it's also hitting up against the pin. I'm assuming it's not hitting up against the pin. If Okay, so go really, really slow. Turn it. Uh, yeah, a tiny bit more. More? No. Going against honey buckles. Honey buckles. Go really, really slow, go a tiny bit more. Okay. So there, the exhaust cam just slid in, and the intake cam just slid in. Okay, and you can't turn anymore, right? Yeah, you shouldn't be able to. Okay. So they're both in now. 
but I don't know if the crank hit up against the pin. So let's take the bar out. Now, can you turn any more to get against the pin? Nope. No? See, that's weird. So now we are up against the pin, and now they both line up only if we go really slow and I make sure to put it put the plate into the intake cam first. So I'm assuming this is timed, but I did this without loosening either cam gear. And, you know, basically I'm just wondering, do you have to loosen the cam gears? Because it doesn't seem like you have to. So yeah, um, there's my little video and my question. Hopefully you guys can help me out. Thanks.